At Pivotal, we call our employees pivots because they are relentless in their pursuit to master modern methods of software development. Open-minded and opinionated, pivots are always hungry to learn and thirsty to teach. Clients that embrace our approach in products are honorary pivots. Travis Cole, a senior analyst developer from Dish, is a pivot. Here's his story. Dish began as a tech startup in 1980, taking risks, pioneering technology, and growing. Dish is an entrepreneurial Fortune 200 company. We value individual effort and the ability to solve problems. With as large scale as Dish is, we always have to have software to back it up. So it's always played a critical role in being able to maintain the customer base, as well as acquire and support new customers. We are looking for new ways to innovate at scale and get closer to the customer. We support millions of customers and tens of thousands of customer interactions a day. John Swaringa from Dish knew about Pivotal Labs, and they introduced us to a true working agile methodology, a different way of approaching software development. I had my interpretation of what pair programming was, but only until I actually went to Pivotal Labs' office, I realized it requires two monitors, two keyboards, two mice, and one mouse pointer. We started with two pairs, two pivots, two dish bolts. The first couple weeks had us saying, wow, this is actually happening. This is way different. We tore down six cubes and implemented four pair stations within them. And at that point was roughly when we started transitioning off of Pivotal Labs. So we brought everything back in house, and that was a milestone to run this on our own. Obviously, the management and executives were looking very closely at us to say, all right, well, isn't Velocity going to dip? But we had guys that had been pairing with Pivotal Labs and rotating for the last eight months. We didn't see a dip at all. With a small set of developers, we can really prototype and innovate on things to see if there's benefit to move forward with it. Our core functionality is to make any products that our business or enterprise needs. We're able to build and deliver the products using the methodologies that we learned from Pivotal. It's higher quality, time to market is substantially decreased, and we've got the backlog so we can continue to iterate and add features. All of this, whether it's working with Labs, Spring, Cloud Foundry, Gemfire, all of this does ultimately cost money. Our executives were in on the ground level, and they understood exactly why we were doing this. We're not really scared of the enterprises anymore. It's more of the startups who are our competition these days. The specialty of Pivotal Labs was training our people how to do the software development that we've been doing for years, just how to approach it differently. Now we take a concept and run the iterations on top of it. You don't have to have all your features all in the initial launch. You can constantly keep deploying additional features. Now we're ready to start breaking it down into more continuous delivery type of approach where we can deliver fewer items much more frequently. One of the benefits of working with Pivotal is we didn't have to figure it out on our own. The Pivotal Labs model was already well established. That allowed us to get in and hit the ground running with a proven and already successful methodology.